name is Sharyu and this is Bilat. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make three pairs of shorts. If you're interested, then keep on watching. Let's get started. So for the first pair of shorts, you will need a capri or a pant that fits you well. You just want to like alter its length. For that, just mark at the point where you want your shorts hem. Now lay your pant and draw a line where you want to cut it. Make sure to add your seam allowance before cutting it. So I trimmed the front of the shorts an inch shorter than the back and I also folded and pinned the seam allowance. You can also iron it and if you don't have a machine then you can hand stitch it. So for the second pair of shorts you are going to need an oversized long track pant. First, you will have to remove the drawstring from the waistband. Then you will have to cut the waistband from the pant and also cut the center seams to separate the pant legs. After that, lay it and place a pair of shorts on it that fits you well. Remember that you will have to keep the waist width a bit more because this short has an elasticated waistband instead of a zipper closure. Now here I have traced the length of the shorts and I have also altered the front center seam. I am not going to cut the side seam or inseam, I am just going to cut the hem, waist and center seams. Here I am angling the short seam for aesthetic reason. Now you have to pin and stitch the center seams right sides facing each other. Remember to pin the front of the left side to front of the right side and similarly with the back. After stitching the center seams, you now have to attach the waistband, hem the bottom and insert your drawstring again. For this last pair of shorts, you just need some fabric. You will have to make the pattern for yourself with your own measurements and don't forget to add your seam allowance to this pattern. After cutting your fabric, you will have to first stitch the inseam. of the short. After that, stitch the center seams and hem the bottom. Now you have to make a waistband elastic casing. From the front center seam, mark one fourth of your waist to both the sides and give that a stitch. You have to insert the elastic to the back waistband avoiding the front waistband. After inserting the waistband and hemming the bottom, the short was quite loose at the waist. So I had to fold the front center seam and take in the waist about one and a half inch and then it fit me perfectly. 